It's hydration station time. You grab your beverage. And while you're doing that, I want to know the worst dating experience you've ever had, whether that was a first date, a second date, whatever, in the comments, leave it anonymous if you want. What is the worst date, dating experience, nightmare of a time you ever had? Please, I live for it. Maybe I should even include some of like the comments and keep it anonymous and include them in my videos, like in future stories, because that would be so cheers i hope your dating life right now is better um than whatever you're gonna tell me in the comments <laughs> cheers mm -mm -mm. last night i had such a bad date i'm like kind of scared for my life because this guy's kind of psycho oh. so i met this guy on hinge it always starts with him he picked this start. like sushi restaurant um he wanted to go get sushi and he asked me what I, type of food I like. I told him I'm pretty much open-minded, just pick anything. And so, like, everything was fine, but he would kind of give me, like, subtle flags that he had, like, a small temper. Like, he would get, like, mad over, like, little things, like, you know, just waiting five seconds for the valet person to get the car. But I'm a nice person. I'm a nice girl. I, I like to see the best in people, so I kind of, like... Already a red flag. When someone has no patience and they're just, like, irritable like that, oh, what a vibe kill ignore those stuff big fucking mistake so at the beginning of the day he proceeds to say that he has never done anything like this for a woman <laughs> he said that he had to drive all the way from beverly hills to downtown and he's never done that and he's never taken out a woman on date so i'm like what type of women have you been dating then like so when we finished our food he asked me what i wanted to do after and i was like oh we know whatever you want we can go to like a bar we can go to a club whatever so guess what he suggested he said, since you have a luxury apartment, why don't we go back to your place? I'm scared. And I told him, absolutely not. I don't know you. I don't take people back to my place. No. Sorry. Respectfully. I said that very respectfully. Uh, and uh, no. I don't care if I live in a box. I don't care if I live in the fanciest penthouse in the city. I am not allowing a stranger to come back to my home. Are you not? Well, they probably are nuts. Yeah. Okay. He got mad he kept asking me why why can i go to your place why can i like, w like there's no reason like why is the reason the reason is stupid kept saying because i didn't have a valid reason as to why they didn't want to let him into my apartment uh that i had to let him in my apartment at that point i excused myself to go to the restroom i was going to leave the date but you know, me as a nice person, I was like, you know what, maybe- There are not enough red flags in this world to be waving for this story, honestly. No, this is some serial killer shit. I was like, you know what, maybe he's, I don't know. I'm just, I'm very nice. I should have left because when I came back, he asked me to split the bill, which threw me off because you suggested to go out with me you took me on a date now you're asking me to pay half because i didn't let you go into my apartment because you didn't get lucky i grabbed the check i told the waiter he's weird i'm leaving charge his card i'm i'm gone this man proceeded to chase me down and hold me back and started calling me mexican trash <gasps> and broke mexican i don't know he started calling me these all these racial slurs I literally left on the scooter and he started texting me all this crazy sh**. I blocked him. He started calling me on unknown numbers. He starts like spamming my Instagram with comments and just disrespectful sh**. Literally had to email Hinge this and show wild. Hinge all the email threads, everything. I, sh I screenshot everything. Like I am worried I have a stalker now and could kill me because he knows where I live. Men worry about getting finessed on a date out of a meal, but women worry about literally getting killed. Okay, why does he know where you live, though? Why does he know where you live? Ooh, oh, I hate this so much. That is so, honestly, it's worrisome. If you are out there on dating apps, y'all, please be safe. I don't care if you're, I don't care. I don't care what gender you are. It doesn't matter because I'm not just saying only men are creepy. Just everybody, be safe out there, everybody. I just went on the worst first date of my life now you must be thinking zakal you've been stood up people have tried to scam you what could be worse let me tell you i matched with a girl on hinge everything was him. normal right everything was normal it was going great i asked for a number she gave me her number it always starts 
normal. We started texting and talking about life and FaceTiming. She was real. You must be thinking, Zonkin, why do you keep saying she's real? Because you never f***ing know. We were talking for about a week and then she's like, let's go grab sushi. Oh my God, I love sushi. Sushi this, sushi that, all the sushis. I want all the sushis in my mouth right now. And I'm like, I've had so much sushi, but I was hungry. So I'm like, I'm down. We plan to meet for 7.30 and you must be wondering. I hate sushi. Sushi is disgusting. Oh, she was on time, right? Wrong. She showed up at 8.10. <laughs> she arrived when the sushi arrived and guess what? The sushi... <gasps> was on fire let me show you yeah see right there i wasn't what? joking man <laughs> throughout the entirety of the day she was very dynamic Literally her on fire. responses were kind of loud like loud enough for other people at the restaurant to turn around and be like uh -huh, okay can you can you calm down lady i would ask her questions about her life she'd be super dynamic and just answer you know oh my god yeah i love dogs that's so crazy ha 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 me too yeah crazy but when she would ask me questions about my life she would look over at her phone. She would check to see if she had text <gasps> to respond to. And she was texting them while I was talking to her. Hey, lady, change it. Phones out on any date, even if you are dating the person, even if you are married to the person. I am one of those people who believe your phone should not be on the table. It should not be with you. That should be in your purse. You can have it on volume for emergency sake if you got kids. I get it. But you should not be texting at the table. I hate when I see couples out and they're like on their phones at the table. It's like, why are you even there? Why are you even there? You might as well be at home sitting on the couch on your phones, not speaking to each other. Anyways, pet peeve of mine. So I asked her, I was like, is everything okay? Is there something you need to be responding to right now? Because if not, like we can do this another time. And she's like, no, I'm totally good. I'm so, so, so sorry. Blah, 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 blah. So at that point... I'm pissed. And she's like, okay, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. She sets her phone down. She sets her phone down and then she says, hey, what's your socials? I'm like, I can give you my Instagram. Is that what you want? She's like, no. What's your social security number? Like, what? What are you talking about? Who asked that? She was like, oh, if you have three or more... um." Digits in common, it increases p compatibility. So what's your what's your social security number? I'm like, I am not telling you that. Yeah, right. <sighs> this is stressing me out. And then she like feels bad and she's like, sorry, I'll pay for dinner. I like, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to do that. I'm like, no, it's okay. Like, I, I want to take care of dinner. Like, let me. And then she goes, no, let me take care of it. I'll put it on my dad's card. Hey, oh. lady. Get your own card. <laughs> the card comes back declined. She said, let me make a phone call. Runs out of the restaurant in the opposite direction. And that is my night. That's a bad first date. <laughs> Why is there something so painfully uncomfortable though about someone who talks really loud? Uh, that is so uncomfortable. If you're in a conversation with someone out in public and they just speak really like, ah, and really loud, they're not even trying to and they don't even realize it. It is so awkward. I've been in that situation. I remember like looking around because people are looking at them and then you're just like, <sighs> and like, how do you politely be like, hey, shut the f up. Like you're too loud. Take it down a notch. Since you're loving my misfortune, a few months ago, went on a date. And uh, we sat down, I was looking over the menu. We'd been there for about 10, 15 minutes. And uh, I thought it was going all right, some laughs. And uh, she was like, this is why I don't date tradies. I was like, what? And she goes, everything on the menu is so cheap. And I was like, there's a $200 steak on the menu. How is everything so cheap? I just looked at her and I was like, you're going to be for recreational purposes anyway. And I got up and left. <gasps> you know, I'll never understand that though. If someone asks to like take you on a date, it's still nice. Even if you went to whatever, a cheaper restaurant, you don't know what their life is like. You don't know where they came from or what their financial situation. I don't know. Like to me, it's like they're still paying for your meal and asking you to take you out. Who cares if the meal is literally $12? Whatever. That's still $12 of their earned money. Who cares? That's crazy. Today I went on a date and I left after I walked past him but what? it's not what it sounds like. Okay, I'm gonna start at the beginning. So we met on Hinge, but instead of like 
matching and then chatting for a little while he just immediately sent me this message which obviously made it sound like it was copied and pasted but it was like hey megan i'm not super into messaging back and forth but if you want to like get together meet at a coffee shop and go from there like i'm down if you are and i was like i just just like sassy or whatever and then like eventually i was like fine i'll meet up and so i agreed to go downtown to get coffee even though i don't live downtown and two i don't even drink coffee but like it's a thing people do so i was like okay i'll get tea so i walk into public coffee roasters if you live in salt lake you know what it is it has two stories as i get there i'm on time and i have a message from him he was a few minutes early he says i'm upstairs so i immediately walk upstairs and um there are many men with hats on <gasps> looking down at phones or books or whatever and i've only seen a picture of this guy so like honestly like usually i like walked really slow and i like see this is why i can't date i would have so much anxiety if i walked up there and i saw a bunch of men that it could possibly be like my anxiety and i would just turn around and walk out because i would be like what are you hey can you wave to me like which guy are you that would be so awkward kind of like walk i walked the entire upstairs and i like walked slow by tables that had men alone and like if you're waiting for somebody to come meet you you should look up yes give me a sign a little and be paying attention and like tell me where you're sitting because i honestly i was not sure and i didn't want to like disturb some man having a good time so i walked back downstairs so as I walked downstairs, I messaged him and I was like, hey, like, I honestly don't know who's who upstairs. Like, were you maybe? You know what? You're already handling this a lot better than I would. So good for you. You may be the one with the hat reading a book. I'm going downstairs to get a tea. So I go downstairs. I get a tea. I wait for my tea. It's got to steep for like four minutes. And then I sit down downstairs because I'm like, I'm not going to. I'm not going to disturb somebody if I don't know it's them. It's like kind of embarrassing and also whatever. So I message him again on Hinge and I say, I say, hey, like, there's a bunch of men upstairs. Nobody looked up. They didn't answer? Y'all didn't exchange phone numbers? I wait 15 minutes. We were supposed to meet at 11. I waited until 11.15, drank my entire tea, and I was like, honestly, I'm going to leave. So I leave and I'm like <gasps> screaming because I think it's so rude. Like, did he just think I was 15 minutes late? or did he just forget he was meeting somebody? So anyways, I get to my car, and he's like, oh, yes, sorry, my bad. Uh, here's my number. You can text if it helps. You can pause and read our interaction so here. Um, basically, he apologized afterwards, but... Oh, I am going to pause and read your interaction. Okay, I was reading my book. Apologies. You can text or call if you need. Sir, you went... <sighs> You were reading a book. So she wrote, reading your book for 15 minutes, I left, obviously after 15 minutes of waiting. Also, if you would have been willing to send a few messages, you might have learned that one, I don't live downtown, so I was going out of my way, and two, I don't drink coffee. Did you think I was 15 minutes late, or did you just forget you were trying to meet someone? What an absolute waste of time. And then he puts the faceplant emoji. All right, well, she says he apologizes after. Honestly, it could just be like a simple miscommunication but to me it's like if i was him i would be focused on the fact that i'm meeting somebody yes i made two what'd you make you made three didn't you i win <laughs> did he just wink at me <laughs> that's 18 holes <laughs> i win one or two more Am I the only one that thinks this is like the cutest thing ever? <laughs> no, I'm not a golf gal. My boyfriend, golf player, okay? Not for me, it's just whatever. Mini golf's different. I don't even consider that real golf. This is so like sweet. I love that he's like so excited about something he obviously enjoys doing. And like, I don't know the whole, I win. Like it wasn't, I don't know. I just, I just think this is so precious. I don't know why. And I get annoyed easily. So if this guy wasn't giving me an annoying vibe, I don't know, man. Did anyone else like just find this so sweet? And he was so excited to be there with you and playing this fun game. And I don't know. I thought it was adorable. This must be their first date. <laughs> you 
Yo, chopsticks are so hard. <laughs> that would 100% be me. Listen, I, you know what though? I ain't even gonna front. I'm not even gonna try to pretend I know how to use chopsticks on a first date. Sorry. Mm -mm. I have tried, can't do it. I don't understand. My mind just will not connect to my hands. It's too much for me. No. I wouldn't be able to do it. You wanna know what's funny though? I need to know. We need to have a debate in the comments. Which team are you on? If you're on a date, even with your partner, whatever, you go out for dinner, are you sitting next to them or are you sitting across from them? What team are you on? Because I know a lot of people that actually prefer to sit next to their partner when they have like a solo, you know, a little date with themselves. Yo, I hate that. I am not the vibe of sitting next to each other. Like, we're not watching a friggin' movie. We're at dinner. I am on team. Sit across from me. I want to see ya. Like, what am I going to talk to you like this? That's what team I'm on. But what team are you on? Do you sit next to your partner or across? Worst first date ever, I asked to try his food. You're kidding. Is that Nioki? You're kidding. Y'all, that's gotta be a joke. Somebody tell me that's a joke. Please! You're not even trying it at that point. There, There's no way you're trying it. You're not trying anything. You might as well just suck in a little puff of air. You're not gonna taste shit with that amount. I need to read this. Okay. Okay, so we have the text. Wait, what are you watching? P.S. I love you. Love you too. What made you say that, lol? Oh, no! No! No, this man thought you were saying, P.S. I love you, when he asked what you were watching. Oh my God. Oh my God, and if this is like a new relationship, like after a first date, I'm scared. Oh, I need to see what he responded with, cause he, oh my God, his balls probably just dropped to the floor when he realized that that was, oh my God. When my friend's Tinder match sent her a voice note. Hey Vanessa, this is Alex. <laughs> nice to hear your voice before. Where about you staying in Vancouver? She wanted to respond and accidentally said this. <laughs> <gasps> oh my god. You just sent the fact that you guys are laughing at him. First of all, that voice note? Hey, Vanessa. <laughs> like, what are you even laughing at? What are you possibly laughing about in that moment? Yeah, that was weird. Like, I'm not even trying to be rude, but like, if someone sends that, that's an instant turn off. Absolutely not. It's safe to say I'm very happy. I am in a lovely relationship. Um, I hope I'm never single again and have to date. I'm out of here, you guys. Let me know your worst dating fails in the comments. Stay classy out there. Stay sassy. And also stay freaking safe, okay? I'll see you tomorrow.